I'm sitting on top of a stone tower in the far north of Georgia in the region of Svaneti. We are pretty high up in the Caucasus Mountains. Pure Earth is working in Georgia because of a challenge regarding childhood lead poisoning. In 2018, the government, in partnership with UNICEF, discovered really troubling levels of lead in kids' blood. In fact, 41% of the kids that were tested had dangerous levels of lead in their blood. The government asked Pure Earth to help figure out what was driving this lead exposure. Where was the lead coming from? How was it getting into the bodies of these children? And to do that, we visited the homes of many of these lead poison kids and tested the foods, the products, the toys, the paint, the soil, the water, everything that we could in these homes and discovered that overwhelmingly it was actually spices that were contributing to their lead poisoning. And the reason that the spices were doing this was that certain producers were adding an industrial pigment to their spices to make them brighter yellow. And that pigment was about 50% lead. So we studied that pigment and the spices and confirmed that indeed that was what was being put in and that was what was driving the lead poisoning. Could you describe for us what the next step uh, was to identify and learn more about this spice contamination. We assess 77 vendors around the country. Uh, one uh, up to 300 spices was tested and the uh, average concentration was exceeding uh, to the level which is allowed in the country. It's, it's ex and it, it was exceeded 600 times. They did not know even when we had uh, some monitoring and uh, interview with them, they didn't know that it is so poisoning. They, they are using just the color, uh, for the color of the product they are producing. Pure Earth has been working in Georgia with the government, UNICEF, and other partners to try to address childhood lead poisoning. The activities that we've conducted here have included public awareness campaigns, an information campaign for spice producers, as well as assessments of contaminated sites, and work directly with producers to ensure that they're no longer adulterating spices. Between 2020 to 2022, there was a 100% decrease in a char region in a number of lead adulterated spice samples, while 96% was in BBC, 76% in MRIT, and 88% in Korea regions. So of course, we are going to keep pushing forward to ensure that Georgia's unique and honestly very delicious cuisine is safe for children across the country. And we also want to compliment the government uh, that has been really proactive and also really aggressive in tackling this problem.